Hello all my crafty friends. It has been way too long since I've uploaded a video and today's video is not going to be anything about the Cricut. It's going to be a little sewing project that I had decided that I needed to make. Granddaughter is four, well she'll be four next week and she's a little Miss Independent and she likes to uh, do everything herself. And one of the things that I've noticed is she likes that I hang a towel specifically for her on my towel rack in the bathroom. However, it is um, always on the floor. My towel rack is up a little bit higher than most people, I guess. Um, I'm not, yeah, I guess it's a little higher than most people and she pulls it down, dries her hand, she can't get it back up. So I had decided to hang a kitchen towel that I had and hold on one moment, let me go get that so I can show you what I'm talking about. Okay, this is, a, this is not the one that I actually keep in the bathroom, but <clears throat> this is what I'm talking about. So I know we all have seen these. Our grandmas have made them, aunts and uncle, you see them at all kinds of craft shows and stuff. So what they did is they took one towel, this thing is, I don't know, 15 years old, and a pot holder, and they sewed them together. Folded the towel in half and sewed them together. So what I want to do is I want to make one of these, because what I did is I hung this in the bathroom, and it's actually too short. She can't reach it to dry her hands. So she calls me, can you unhook it? <laughs> and then I go and I unhook it and then I have to put it back. So how independent is she actually if I have to go in there and help her? So I've decided that I wanted to make a longer one. Um, so instead of taking my towel and folding it in half, I'm gonna put the pot holder on the actual top and then it gives a whole length of the whole tail hanging for her to dry her hands. And then she can do everything on her own and feel like a big girl. So follow along. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And um, I'll have lots of other crafty videos up as I think of them. What I use to make that is just went to the dollar store and I bought a pack of two hand towel, uh, two dish towels, or you can do hand towels, whichever, and a pack of two um, square pot holders. So I decided that what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to attach up at the top, right? So it's nice and long and that way my granddaughter can reach it without having to take it off of the hook because my bar is up a little bit high. So first what you want to do is you want to cut, let me just stick my glasses on, find my scissors <laughs> and I like to just snip the tag off. You can leave them on if you want. Just get cl as close as I can to the seam. And then I do the same on the tail. Okay. So now I'm going to give you a different view in one moment. But first I wanted to explain a few things about my channel. Alright. <clears throat> Like I said, it has been a hot minute since I've been on here. Um, and I have been doing projects. I have been working with my Cricut. I have been working with my Cricut Joy. I absolutely love the Joy. I love my maker. I will not ever get rid of either one of them. Um, I have been making face masks. That has been my major projects for the last almost year. Well, since, or I guess uh, the end of March of 2020. Hmm. So I'm not really a sewer. So I thought 
well, let's see if I can make a mask. Now, granted, I am not fancy. I don't make all the fancy masks or anything like that. I just do my, you know, the straight three pleat type of mask with the nose bridge. But I am making ones that have a specific symbol up here for a fundraiser for a organization called the Moose that I belong to. So that is what I have been doing for like ever and a day. I don't know how many masks I made. A couple thousand. All right. Anyway, so I wanted to take a break from making masks and do another sewing project because I'm kind of liking sewing. I'm not really all that great at it, but I've made a few projects. I've made some mug rugs. I've made, I've made a tote bag. Um, I made this mat that you'll see in one moment when I show the other view of my sewing area. I made this mat. And I just thought, well, since I'm doing this project, I'm just going to take you along while I do this. And maybe you'll want to, maybe it'll inspire you to make one yourself. Okay, let's get going. Okay, so this is my sewing area. It's also my craft table that I usually do my crafts. And if I shake you, I apologize because you're actually sitting on my craft table. So this is the mat that I had made. Um, I went to Joanne's Fabric and I found this fabric on the clearance for, I don't know, $2.50 a yard. So I just grabbed two yards and figured, I don't know what I'm gonna make with it, but it's kind of pretty and it matches a few of my things in the room. Anyway, I don't know if you are anything like me, but I have all kinds of tools all over the place and I misplace them constantly and I know they're probably right in front of my face but I don't know. So I decided I was going to start organizing. I put all my pins in a little ball and this sits up um, that way or right here depending on what I need. Okay so I'm going to need these clips. I'm going to these. I know you can't see but it's going to be right over here. And then I made the bottom part that hangs over my desk like this and it has just making sure the view is good okay and it has these little pouches and I keep my um, seam ripper my fabric markers my uh, clippers a pair of these and of course my old trusty scissors which is this is the thing I'm constantly misplacing so right here and then I made another pouch section here and it's all divided and I keep my measuring tape here, my sewing machine um, feet, whatever they're called. And then I keep these little scraps and I use these as what they call beginners and enders. These little scraps here. And I keep those in there. So that is my little mat. When I'm done for the day, I could pull this mat underneath and I could throw it over my sewing machine and I made these little ties. Anyway, so I'm going to take my hand towel and I'm going to take the top that has where the tag was here. I'm going to have to keep looking up, making sure I'm good. All right. And of course, you can see this is from the dollar store, so it's not very straight, but that's okay. You know where they cut. Uh, I'm good with that. Doesn't matter. And then I'm going to take the pot holder and where the tag is, that is going to sit like this. So the tag is sitting up, the tag is sitting up, because that is going to be, um, I'm sorry, the tag sitting up on the pot holder and the tag is going down on the towel. That's right. Okay. So I'm going to give it about, I don't know, doesn't really matter, distance as far as from here to there, a couple of inches. I'm just going to attach this right where I I should do the edge. Okay, let's do the edge. I'm just going to take a wonder clip. I love these wonder clips. And I will put a link down the bottom from Amazon. Oh, hold on. I will put a link from my Amazon 
of where I got my Wonder Clips from because it's the cheapest that I have ever seen these Wonder Clips because they could be pretty pricey. So and then I'm going to take my tail to the other side and pin the other end of the tail to that end. Again, you can eyeball it, you can measure it, whatever you want. I want it to look nice in the bathroom, but yet it doesn't have to be perfect. So then I'm going to gather. I'm going to take as much as I can and I'm just going to gather this. That's what that looks like. Okay. And then, of course, I'm going to put whatever coordinating thread into your machine. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch across the top, putting all of those layers down like this. Okay, and I'm not sure if you're going to see me so, but let's see if I can get a little bit of a different view. If I pull my machine a little closer to me. And I have a Singer Professional 2010. Um, I've learned some quite a few interesting things about my machine since I've been using it and I actually quite like it. I don't need a huge fancy one but this one does have all kinds of special stitches that I can do. I believe pages and little cheat sheets here. So I've been playing with those as well. I'm just going to go down on my feed for probably about a quarter of an inch doesn't really matter as long as you're stitching it down. Make sure you do a back stitch. Take the clips out as I go. Now, one thing I have learned uh, about sewing is that my stitches are never straight. They're not as straight as they can be. So I haven't really attempted to make a project that where you know, really, that the stitches really matter. In other words, if you're working with a pattern, and that pattern needs to be an exact certain size and they give you an exact, what they call a seam allowance. And if you not, are not exactly on that seam allowance, then you, um, your project may not come together right. So I thought my next project would be to make a um, water bottle bag that has a zipper to hold my phone and my keys or whatever else I have going on for when I go for walks and things like that. So I can take my water bottle along with me. So if you'd like to come along with me while I make that, that would be made from a pattern. So that should be interesting, my very first project. I If you guys are wondering, I have my machine has a setting on here to where I can automatically sew, okay, without using my a foot. So I'm not using my feet to sew. I'm just using a start and stop button from up here. And the reason why I started to do that is because back in oh I don't know I want to say maybe May. I started to have, have issues with my, okay, see, look at that, I don't mean to 
this wrapped up. My stitches aren't that great, but it's 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 on there, right? Uh, with issues with my um, my legs, so I was having circulation issues. So I need it to stand, stand, sit, stand, sit, that kind of thing um, while I was sewing. And, well, I gotta put it back where it belongs, otherwise I wanna forget it, lose it again. So, I found out that my machine had that feature where I can unhook the foot and use that on off thing. And honestly, it was, I found it by mistake. On my machine it says, I'll link a picture right here. It says start and stop. And I couldn't figure out what it was. And I kept pressing it, but it wasn't doing anything. I didn't know I had to have my foot unhooked from my machine before I could use that feature. Now, I'm sure that there are a lot of projects that I'm going to have to put my foot on because I have to have, I'm going to stop and start close together or whatever. I'm not, I'm not really sure if I would be able to do it with this feature and I might need my foot. <clears throat> but I actually kind of really like sewing with um, with the stop start feature took me a little bit of time to get used to but now that I'm used to it I love it okay so anyway now I could take this bottom part of the um, pot holder and sew that down or I could just leave it like this uh, I don't know I think I might just leave it so now I'm just going to fold it over like this find the spot where I want to put my button and I think that I want to put my button to where the button goes right at the edge of the pot holder so I'm just going to get my buttons. Oh my God, do I have a ton of buttons like this. Look at this tray. It's crazy. I really need to go through my supplies and start to weed through some things. I might be doing a giveaway. Matter of fact, I know I'm gonna do a giveaway. I'm gonna do a giveaway of abundance of supplies that I have because you know what I will I will never use I will never use all these buttons look at these this is crazy okay not 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 all not everything in here are buttons but I don't know why I have okay let's see if these are gonna be big enough these little round ones I mean, part of them, sorry. Okay. So we don't want my button to be too small where it falls through this little loop. So I think I'm going to, I'm going to hand sew it here and then if this loop is really too big, I will just take a couple little stitches in right here on the loop and then that would be perfect. All right, so I'm just going to quick hand sew this and I'll show you the finished project. Thank you for walking along with me. I hope that you have subscribed to my channel and please comment below, message me, let me know what you want me to make next. Um, I do have some idea, some uh, projects that I have to do with my Cricut and some tutorials on some little, um, I don't wanna say tricks or whatever, but uh, a couple people have messaged me and asked me how to do certain things on the Cricut. So I will be doing those videos and getting them uploaded, hopefully within the next week or two. Okay, thank you very much and I'll see you later.